91.9 WNTI Public Radio from Centenary College. I'm Melanie, and in the studios with me today, I have Paul and Joe and Bob, Paul Chekai. And uh, I, before I forget, I want to send out birthday wishes to listener Levi, and he said his birthday present was just the music that WNTI brings him every day. So thank you, Levi. I haven't heard from you in a while, so I'm glad you gave us a call this morning. Now, uh, we're talking to Paul Chekai. On your CD, Young and Free, and the New Jersey song especially, My Home, New Jersey, you have a lot of different musicians playing with you. Um, are they all local? Are they all Jerseyites? Uh, almost everyone in, uh, that's on it is from Jersey. You got, well, I'm from originally from West Orange. I live in Flanders now. We have uh, Joe Fumato. He's from uh, Orange. Uh, actually, Joe Fumato is uh, a cousin of a great guitar player, Billy Hector. They're both, uh, both cousins. I'm sure a lot of people in NTI have seen Billy Hector. We have Mike Decker. He was from West Orange, and uh, we have Gary Martino, who grew up in Newark, and he lives in Union. We've got Tom Jacobson on piano, uh, he's in Verona. Uh, Jimmy Jacobus uh, plays with Bob, Bob Boyle's band. Uh, they're, they're in a band, uh, well, an old band that they were in called Street, and they're still playing, yeah. and they still have some gigs. Bob will probably talk about that in a little bit. Uh, we have Vito Capruso, uh, he's from Orange, he lives in Matawan now. We've got uh, Joe Baum on keyboards, uh, he's from West Orange. Kevin Mooney on harmonica some Cedar Grove. Uh, then we have the, the Moderately Bright Four. It's a, a, an a cappella group, and they're from Mount Olive. They, they sang on the song. And then we have the band, the Captains of Leisure. Oh, sure. They're, um, yes, they, uh, the horn section with um, uh, Chris on trumpet, oh, and Dave, and oh, which I can't remember the other guy, but they're, they're uh, basically from Sparta. You can see the Captains of Leisure. So I got all these people from, um, you know, from that are around that I've seen and, and liked and asked them if they give me a hand and they were all gracious enough to uh, come and uh, and and uh, help me out. Good Frank. Well, well, on this song, there's a, there's a lot of other people that played on it, uh, but I'm just talking about this song uh, right. in, in particular. Now, Bob, tell us about what you have going on because you, I mean, I I know you've been around for a while and, and been on the music scene. Well, we're right now playing with a classic rock band called Street. I play with Jim Jacobus, who's also on the record. Uh, he plays drums. And then every Sunday, I'm at, I'm at the Abundant Life Church in Lincoln Park, where I play guitar. And uh, I do a lot of, you know, writing songs and recording. And Paul and I go way back to high school, so we've always played on and off with each other throughout the years. Yeah. Well, what about some of those bands that you used to open up for when you were with the Street Band? <laughs> Uh, with Street, we play with Rare Earth, Earth, Wind, and Fire, and Blue Oyster Cult. And then with my, when I had my other band, the Bob Boyle band, we used to play the, in New York all the time at Kenny's Castaways, and we played the Stone Pony. We opened up for Fog Hat, and the, the guitar player was a good friend of mine, Jimmy D'Agostino. He's also from West Orange. Nice. That's a that's a pretty good resume there, Bob. <laughs> I would say. And then we have Joe, Joe who Beagle. probably stayed up all night just to get yeah. here today. <laughs> Joe, how are you, my friend? Very good. What, move the microphone a little closer and tell the listeners um, what you've been doing lately. Well, um, worked on this album. It probably took us almost a, at least a full year from tracking to actually having the, the physical CD returned from mastering. Um, it was a lot of fun. It uh, taught me a lot about what I do know and what I don't know. Um, working with Paul was easy because he's uh, easy to get along with. Having so many musicians come in over the course of all the sessions was not so easy. It was different... Uh, Scheduling. And yeah, different schedules, different attitudes, different stuff all the time, new people all the time. Uh, aside from the maybe 10 that he lists, there's probably at least another 10 that appeared on the album somewhere. I think there's 28 over there. <laughs> 28 wow. musicians so, or so. Yeah, All done in a bedroom in my house, so <laughs> it was it was a lot of fun. Um, I, I definitely got the chance to kind of get into a sound that I'm not used to, with a little bit more of the retro feel, and it kind of like your dad's kind of music. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's kind of music. No, it, it opened me up. I really I, I like Paul's sound, and I felt like it was something that we could kind of really achieve something something respectable in in that bedroom setting and really go more for the vibe and it's not high tech but we we really just concentrated on making sure people were comfortable having a lot of fun and, and, and playing music more than anything else so it was a, it was great to be a part of 
such a long project. It's over now. I'm kind of excited about that. You know, Mel, one thing I wanted to say was that, that the reason that we could, could even do this, because it's, you know, it's, it's very expensive, and uh, just buying sandwiches for these guys and, and drinks, yeah, you know, for yeah, like, holding know. sessions and everybody, you know, and then, of course, the recording and have to pay Joe. Um, how it happened was that um, I was in Woodstock in 1969, the original Woodstock, and after the last uh, performer played Jimi Hendrix, uh, we were in the band, and it was stuck in the mud waiting for a tractor to pull us out, one of the farmers. And someone says, hey, Jimmy's down in a car right here, right, right by our van. So I went down, and, sh and sure enough, Jimmy's right there, sitting in the front seat, uh, and, uh, Mitch Mitchell in the back. And I shook his hand, told him that way I sounded great and everything, and I had a program from Woodstock that they gave out, and I wound up getting a pen and got Jimmy to sign it for me. So I had it in a, a frame for about 40 years, and I wound up selling it uh, about two years ago at uh, Christie's in London. That a big rock and roll memorabilia thing, so I got about five thousand bucks, six thousand bucks for it, and that kind of financed um, th this project. So it was good that one music thing turned into another music thing. Wow, that's yeah. some stuff. I don't know if I would be able to part with something like that. I give you a lot of credit for even doing that. Cool. Well, Paul Chekai is in the studio with us today at WNTI, joined by Joe and Bob, and we have time for one more live one if you guys are up for it. Yes. Okay. Great. Uh, that's another song off the, uh, this, is, this is a song off the new CD, it's called um, We Met Julie, and actually it was called We Met Judy, but my daughter is named Julianne, and so I decided to change it so she would have her name in it, kind of. Oh, well, there we go. Paul Chekai and Friends live in the studios of WNTI with me today. Jingle to it, and the word, the lyrics are great, and 
Just an all-around fabulous song. Thank you so oh, much for coming you. up thank here you, today. Melody. Thank you. This thank was a lot of fun. You. I enjoyed having all of you here. And, and, um, I want everyone and, to, to go, look, go on YouTube and look for My Home New Jersey. I'm sure you're going to see some place that, that you know. I was just going to say, yeah. uh, give everybody the, your website, information on where they could get your CD and all that good Maybe. stuff. CD well, Baby? Mm -hmm. You get purchased on iTunes or Amazon or CD Baby or TradeBit. Okay. Um, uh, or you can uh, just uh, Google Google me, uh, Paul Chekai, that's C-Z-E-K-A-J, and, um, and you can find me there, or EssexMars.com slash music. There you go. 91.9 WNTI, thanks for hanging out with us this morning. Gentlemen. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Very, very cordial.